Okay, look at this fucking tweet. This shit kind of annoyed me, alright? This kind of annoyed me. Now, I want to preface this by saying I have nothing against this individual. I don't even know who the fuck they are. All I know is there's a link tree. You know what link tree means? Link tree means OnlyFans. One, OnlyFans. Two, Patreon. Three, fucking some kind of wish list for some sad motherfucker that wants to buy you some shit. Okay? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Anyways, look. That much, I don't give a shit. I don't care if they have a fucking OnlyFans. Okay, make your money. I can understand. I'll be coming out with a response to the whole gym situation in a few days. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Damn, bro. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. I'm a reporter for Indie 100 and would love to hear your side of the story. Please, could you DM me with your contact details? You can contact her on OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, shit. I despise being sexualized. Okay, bro. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You don't like being sexualized and so there's a fucking paycheck. I can respect that. Hey, you know what? I can respect that shit. This is the original post. And you guys tell me, seriously, at, tell me if I'm in the fucking wrong here. But genuinely, you tell me if this seems as though she's correct on this, like, on her assessment. This guy kept making me extremely uncomfortable at the gym. This is why I'll end up crying on stream because I feel so grossed out at them at times. Uh, with the amount of sexualization I experience, hopefully this spreads awareness for girls who experience this type of treatment at the gym. This is how to not approach girls at the gym. If I'm doing my workout, this person's doing hyper extensions in the back, and I see somebody with a camera pointed in my direction, I'm not gonna lie. It would be impossible for me to not look in that direction multiple times because I'd I'd want to know why the camera is facing in that general direction. And like, am I on camera? Am I being recorded? Like, is there potential that I'm in the video when I don't want to be on fucking on in the frame of the video over here? Now, you have to keep in mind this person is not only recording themselves. Not only has an OnlyFans, not only has a fan house, whatever the fuck that is, not only does all this shit, not only live streams themselves on Twitch, and has all this, like, fucking internet presence, but you draw the line at being look glanced at a couple of times by a fucking dude that's might, probably not even paying attention to you other than looking over because the fucking can't... What? Dude... I'm sorry. Um, like, I, I, what is the guy supposed to do in this situation? Is he supposed to like finish a set and then face toward the corner and just stand like just AFK? W what the fuck is he? Do you know how normal it is for people to look around when they're like they're in the in the middle of their break period between sets? It's just like it's just you're just looking around. I fucking walk back and forth and I'm like looking around and shit. I don't just stare at something. I, I don't know, man. This, anyways. Oh, this is nothing. Okay, we're gonna move on to the 35 now. I want you to watch very carefully. Yeah. The five adds five pounds. This is what women mean by staring at them like a piece of meat. <laughs> <laughs> This is how to and then she i mean look at some of the replies just see so oh actually no 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 the replies are all fucking people you know like kissing fucking ass why after paying 9.99 you don't mind they stare anymore oh, man like here's the thing bro like i'm not shitting on this person i'm not shitting on this person for having a fucking like a fucking only fans i don't give a fuck if they do now, the guy that's fucking paying for that, you know. <laughs> when Jeffrey Epstein is calling you out, you know you fucked up, okay? You got Jeffrey Epstein being the one fucking ratioing you. You're fucking, you fucked up majorly. <laughs> Came back to the dead to shit on her. Sometimes you gotta fucking be resurrected just to dunk on someone. Here we go. Women are harassed in gyms and needs to stop, but you're not one of them. An act of kindness or glance doesn't make you a victim. Like, I fucking flat out called her out. And I've literally finished doing squat and shit. And 
Was that the guy in the video? No, it's some guy named Joey Swole who makes all kinds of videos like this, calling people out when they're like bitching about like, oh my god, this person walked in front of my camera. Or, oh my god, this per this dude's like super fucking well known because all he does is like call people out for that type of shit. That's why everyone tagged him as soon as it came up. Okay. Oh, and also here's more context. Excuse me. You don't have to do that. It's okay. So this dude came over. When you have a bar on the ground, okay, it's kind of a bitch to load weights. Now, depending on the amount of weight, because you need to lift the fucking bar up, and then you need to fucking drag the plate into the fucking bar all the way, kind of like right there, right? So it's kind of hard, and sometimes people struggle. So people will go up and offer, hey, you need help, and they'll help you fucking lift it so you can slide the bar on or the plate. But apparently she thought that was like, oh my god, this guy wants to fuck me because he's offering to help me fucking put that shit on. Even though that's something people do all the fucking time. People all the time offer that shit. Unless it's like a smith. No, no, it's okay. I got it. Thank you, though. And then, posted this. What if I just ripped his pee, pee out of its socket so he could never reproduce again? This is why I don't want kids. Natural selection better take these weirdos out. He's going to jail for staring at an underage 21, underage 21 year. What are you talking about? What? What are you saying? <laughs> what the fuck is an underage 21 year old? <laughs> you fucking pervert. I'm an underage 24 year old. How fucking dare you look at me? <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. This is satire. I. See what I mean? I would hope so. Alright, here we go. I just want to share my perspective on this video. If you guys want to watch the full thing, you can go over to her page. First and foremost, as I've said before, there is a big difference between staring at somebody and simply looking or glancing at them. So why did this man look at you? Well, you're in front of him off to the side, you're in his peripheral. You're also taking a video with your camera pointed directly at him and you're talking to yourself. He's probably watching you wondering, what is she doing? I know I would. Also, you talk about, why would this man- Guy offered help and was ridiculed online. Fuck the being ridiculed online. That's one thing. This guy's being called a fucking pervert and a freak. Like, this, this shit could fucking ruin his life. This is like the type of thing that like, it, it could blow up enough that the dude ends up being like, whoa, whoa, hey, weren't you that guy from that fucking video that was staring at the girl? What? Well, no. I mean, oh, nah, I'm sorry, we're not interested. You're fucking weird. Like, that type of shit. You know, like, this can have, like, actual fucking waves that affect him when the dude could have literally just been offering to help fucking load a plate onto a bar. And he glanced a couple of times. Every, you would be lying out of your fucking teeth if you said you did not at least once as a woman or a man or whatever you identify as look at people at the gym you would be fucking lying whether you're looking at somebody because for whatever reason you're looking at them because they're lifting something heavy you're looking at them because they're sprinting on the fucking treadmill and they're like holy shit they're going running really fucking fast and you're looking at them because oh hey they're in my peripheral vision between my set it, dude this is such a like i hate this is why like i said ban recording in the gym ban it fucking delito no more recording in the gym come over and help me load my plates well if you watch the video and, like, on top of it, it's like a compliment if people are fucking looking at you when you're doing, like, a heavy set or you're doing something. I, I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. ...sees that you struggle putting plates on the other side. Now, any experienced lifter out there knows when you have a barbell on the ground, if you're doing hip thrusts, if you're doing deadlifts, it's very difficult to put plates on. There's actually a jack they make for you to be able to lift up the barbell so you can put the plates on. He sees that you struggled being an experienced lifter and he comes over to try and help you because that's what kind people do. Any experienced lifter out there knows what I'm talking about. And I saw the comment where you guys talk about this was a man trying to help out a woman because a man would never help a man. That's not true. This is not misogynist. I've been in the gym for 20 years. I can't tell you how many times I've helped men and women load plates, take plates off, put weights back. It has nothing to do with sex or gender. You help people because it's kind to do. 
but it's very sad that you took an act of kindness, this man doing something for you, being kind, and turned him into a creep at the gym, talking about how you want to rip his reproductive organ off, he can't reduce, and that natural selection just, should take him dumb. out. Really? Trying to make yourself out to be a victim, which you're not. There are women harassed in gyms. You're not one of them. You need to do better. Mind your own business. True. Based. Based. Day two. The fuck you talking about Kmart shoes? Motherfuckers are K-Swiss. Okay? Puts a fucking respect on them. Bitch. Dollar store Andy. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? I'm a streamer. I'm broke. Remember? It's part of the fucking deal. If, if a fucking gym girl doesn't like my outfit, hey, look at my fucking ass and my quads. Bitch. Hey. I got more ass than you anyways. Bitch. Hey. I'm gonna fucking... You don't like my outfit? Oh, well. Let me walk away from this situation real quick. Bitch! I got more ass than you. Fuck you. I don't care about my, you fucking judging my outfit. Okay? I don't care. I'm there to lift weights. It's not, it's not a fucking fashion show. Just to preface this, look at this tweet. When you're trying to see if the rack is still being used and you see her pull out a TikTok and record you in the background. <gasps> no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> No, I just wanted to know if the leg press was still being used. Fucking creep. Feral, feral, feral. <laughs> it's like, no, shit. Did she overreact? What do y'all think? This is the second of these types of videos within the same week, okay? Ladies, beware of the creeps. Fucking skull emoji, bro. Let's just watch the video. Just in its entirety. When I first watched this, by the way, I didn't even know who the fuck he, she was talking about. Like, at first, I was like, who the fuck, who's the creep in this? Pow noticed him off rip, I can't. She noticed him creeping too close for comfort and my girl wasn't playing no game. I help you? Like, do we got a problem? What you looking at me? That, that one dude that walked by. <laughs> That's the creep. That dude's the creep. Okay, first of all, and I, I know looks are subjective, but first of all, you two aren't exactly Gymshark models in that bitch, okay? You guys aren't exactly like, wow, oh my god, look how fucking developed those quads are, holy shit. It's, it's that guy's literally walking by. <laughs> like, dude, this shit, this has to, this has got to be fucking bait. This has got to be bait. Like, you've got to be setting up your camera with the intention of trying to fucking catch somebody just looking in your direction to be able to call them a creep. Like, this is even worse than the previous one. And the previous one, the guy was offering to help fucking put a, a plate on her bar. This is like, the guy's just walking by and he looks in that direction. This looks like, if I'm assuming that the, the fucking layout's correct... I would assume they're right here, and I'll draw them literally accurate to their physiques. Okay? With the fucking three-pound bar that they're using. Here is the mirror, because most gyms have the mirror, like, fucking a giant mirror so you could see yourself. Okay? And then they're both right here. This other guy is just walking by, looking at himself at the mirrors going this way okay he walks back and then he walks up this way and he looks at the mirror he's not checking you guys out but it just so happens if you have your fucking camera sitting right here and there's a fucking red circle and there's fucking like pointed in the general direction like this 
Maybe, just maybe, he's gonna look boop, 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 and say, huh, what the fuck is that thing over there? Am I being recorded? And I'm gonna w walk by and look like, what's going on with that thing? Have you considered maybe people don't want to be in your fucking TikToks? And that maybe you should, like, I don't know, be courteous and not be an inconsiderate dick and just record everybody without their consent? Like, is that is that something to consider? And that it, not everyone's looking at you like a piece of meat? Videos like that make a parent look at anyone at the gym. So this is exactly why I'll come off like an egotistical piece of shit. And I'll just check myself out in the mirror the whole time. While I'm listening to music, I'm just checking myself out. Because God knows if I look in any other fucking direction, I'm a fucking feral pervert freak that's just staring at women like pieces of meat or something. Like, I, I'm not even going to bother. I'm not even going to risk it. I'm just going to fucking just look at myself and just focus on my goddamn music. <laughs> this is like, this is ridiculous. There's, this is the second one. I swear to God, you don't even see, like, look at the fucking Gymshark level model, like, fucking, like, the women that are, like, extremely fit and have kick-ass physiques. Even, like, they're not even, they, like, they won't even fucking do this type of shit. You know what else he might be wondering? He might be wondering, why is this person recording a set if they're doing, like, fucking three pounds? Like... What's even the point of recording this set? This looks like a warm-up set. Like, realistically, you're, you're gonna post this online? Like, this is your fucking... You're gonna post a fucking set of you doing three pounds? Great. What the fuck? What's the point? I don't know. As soon having eyeballs will be illegal. <laughs> Dude, stop being a fucking pervert, right? Just wear your blindfold like a good boy. The gym is becoming a way for a woman with low self-esteem to validate themselves without doing any work. Oh my god. She didn't come to the gym to work out. Just get a home gym at this point. Like, I'm sorry. And I'm going to go back to the same thing I said the other day with that one girl that had OnlyFans and shit. How are you okay with posting yourself on TikTok for millions of people to see you? Right. Look, if the potential... If the, if the fucking idea is... If I'm posting a fucking fitness video, right, and I'm like, I'm flexing and shit, and I'm like fucking showing off and blah, 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 and I post that online, the potential for there to be at least one fucking person in that entire mass of the internet that I'm posting it to to look at me and say, that individual is attractive. I'm looking at them like a piece of meat. I don't give a shit about their personality. I would bang that person. That potential is out there. Okay? How are you bothered by somebody at the gym potentially looking at you? And this isn't even like seriously looking at you. This is just someone looking at you. But you're cool with projecting that same video onto the internet for potentially hundreds of millions to see you and sexualize you. And then let's take it a step further. How are you cool with having an OnlyFans where you are paid to be sexualized? But you draw the line at somebody glancing at you at the gym. <laughs> I can't. I can't. This shit is so fucking attention horror level. It's insane. It's insane. It's a crime. Just ban recording in the gym. Ban it. Ban it entirely. I don't, I don't want to see people fucking recording themselves in the gym anymore. I'm done. I'm done. Everyone wants to be an influencer, but someone want to kickstart their influencer career via victimhood. That's a fucking super good point. And honestly, I don't think it's the best strategy. Because Greg Doucette just finished calling them out too. So now it's potentially 1.71 million fucking people that are going to shart on this one girl. Like. How freaking dare you? How dare you go to the gym and exploit us men? <laughs> I love when Greg gets mad. He does a high pitch. It's so Coach much more. Dragon, every now and then I see a video that gets me pissed freaking off and this was the one that did it and so i'm on vacation I'm woman gym attire versus man gym attire i'm gonna show off 70 percent of my skin and the entire contour of my ass but don't stare you creep look i don't give a fuck if a girl is wearing a goddamn sweatsuit and you that it's super baggy 
or if they're wearing the most skin tight shit on the planet. Okay, I don't care about that. I care when somebody complains that they're being looked at in general at a gym because your fucking eyeballs gravitate around. You're not a fucking robot. We're not robots. Okay? How often do you finish a set at the gym and what do you literally just look at the ground? Did you just stare at the fucking wall? Because I don't. I fucking don't. I walk back and forth. I'm either fucking. I'm fucking. I'm. Pacing back and forth doing this. Literally doing this. Like, just going back and forth. Or, if I'm really fucking tired, I'm standing there, just looking around. Literally, I'll pan around and just look. What are people doing? I wonder what that person's up to. Oh shit, look, that dude's fucking jacked. Damn, that girl's got a nice physique. Damn, I, I people watch. People, people watch, dude. It's a gym. Like, I, I can't. I can't. And honestly, let's be fucking real. If you're lifting this much fucking weight anyways, okay? If, if you're like max, if this is what you're fucking doing in the gym anyways, seriously, get a fucking home gym. Buy a barbell that's like three pounds. These things cost probably like fucking like 20 bucks. Just get one of these and work out at home and you'll never have to worry about anybody ever looking at you again, okay? I promise you, you can invest in this fucking tiny ass bar and you're set. Like, I mean, it's, it's a, yeah, I can't. How TikTok gym influencers want guys working out. How is that even recording? Where that's what I said. All six on the internet become bold and believe they're ten. You know what else it is? It's literally because like it's. A, I swear to God, it's an ego thing. It's like I'm wearing this skin tight clothing that makes my fucking ass look massive compared to it actually being small because it's a fucking latex borderline fucking pair of pants that I'm wearing. Like, oh my God, am I look so good right now? Oh, I look so good. That guy must be checking me out. Because there's no way he's just looking at himself in the mirror. 12 seconds later. What is it with girls and recording themselves doing some shit? Like, the most basic shit. Like, oh, I'm doing fucking... Holy shit, guys. I'm doing fucking... Like, wow. I'm doing fucking squats with five-pound dumbbells. Hey, the camera's always every fucking time. The camera is always in the most tightest fucking pants humanly conceivable. I have these fucking three pound dumbbells facing this way. I'm doing my fucking squats. Wow. Wow. This is revolutionary fucking content. Why are you fucking walking in front of the camera, asshole? Can't you see me making my fucking content? God, what, a, what an absolute inconsiderate piece of shit. Can't you see I'm trying to do my fucking squats that aren't emphasizing my ass cheeks wearing these extremely tight fucking pants? You are just such a fucking degenerate fuck, you know that? Like, just, just really. God damn, actually, this angle. You know what? Maybe I understand what girls fucking do this for. Holy fuck, I look absolutely caked up. Anyways, real shit though. It's such a fucking attention grab. It's, it's like at least if you're doing it with fucking 40 or something, but god damn, that's crazy. Okay, that's a little tough. It's fucking five pounds. What else that Jim's girl at her phone leaning up to the wall? Yeah, she's recording herself. I just don't get why the fucking they get so offended when people walk in front of them like it's a gym. People are gonna walk by. Aguantar las ganas de aventarles una mancuerna a los que se me atraviesan. She's saying, resisting the urge to slap people that are crossing in front of you. It's a gym. Amiga, ¿cómo se... It's a gym. This is the post. This one is... This one's tilting. A few moments later. I mean, if the sign from the universe is telling you, you know... Is this one of those, like, fucking bait tweets to get someone to check out your OnlyFans? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I click on one of these fucking bullshit and, like, you might like. <laughs> no, I'm not a fucking degenerate loser, so no, I'll pass. Also, because I clicked on this. 
Would you beat me up for one million? I'd do it for five bucks. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> I'm just kidding. New I have MQX on. I did tricep, so I'll only do I'll only do 15. But I clicked on the fucking thing. My fucking triceps are on fire! Whoa! Holy shit, let's go! Chat, 